It's about 7 o'clock in the morning <laughs> and there's a sunrise on this Friday, March 10th, 2023. And uh, I couldn't film yesterday. I wanted to, but I couldn't because the rain was pouring down. We got a lot of rain yesterday. I haven't checked the rain meter yet, but the field was, was flooded. Everything was wet and it was pelting down rain. Let's go take a look at some of the, the grass that we have in this paddock. It's about 45 degrees. There's a wind blowing from the north, a cold wind. <laughs> we had some huge grass in the last paddock too. So, yeah, the rain was pouring down. We were all soaking wet. It was about 65 degrees. So it was just a little bit cold. Uh, so much rain. And yeah, look at that grass up past the, uh, what is that, the uh, wrist bones, ankle bones? So much grass. Yeah, they left some behind. There's a little bit of mud. Not much to write home about, but a little bit. I moved the minerals to a puddle. I think the idea was that they might as well destroy what's already destroyed. Oh man, there was so much rain last night. Lightning and thunder. It continued for a while. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit of grass they just they just passed on. Hey, look at this. This is what's coming up in on uh, Monday. <laughs> Monday morning is gonna look like this. <laughs> That's gonna be incredible. This may have been where I put the hard red winter wheat down. I'm not sure. Um, I don't think you can tell. Well, at least I can't tell the difference between rye grass and wheat. But, uh, you know. Anyway, yeah, cows are doing great. We're going to get cool weather today. Tomorrow it's going to be in the 70s. Rain tomorrow. So, not much rain, just a little bit. I'm really proud of what the cows are doing to the field. I mean, this looks excellent. I guess they're going a little low on the grass. Hopefully that doesn't ruin the, the growth too much. Yeah, what a beautiful day it is. I love how when I came out this morning, the sunrise started to happen and you got streaks of sunlight on the field. That was pretty cool, but I don't think you guys got to see that. Because now the sun is above the trees. Just takes a few minutes. Yeah, you know, when I came out in the field, there was no sun. As I was driving up here, the sun was in the trees, and now the sun's above the trees. It goes quick. It goes really quick. There's an episode of Doctor Who where... The doctor was describing a little bit of what it's like to be him. And he mentioned how he could feel the earth spinning beneath his feet, you know. <laughs> and that's one of the things is that sun, it just keeps moving. And, and having studied physics, you know. And uh, Foucault pendulums are pretty cool too. Foucault, Foucault, I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, the pendulums that swing back and forth and over the course of a day, they go around in a circle. Um, those are pretty cool too. But uh, you know, sometimes I wonder if I could, if I could feel the Earth spinning. You know, <laughs> does it spin fast enough that, you know, my ears can sense it? Probably not, but it's good to imagine. I think. Anyway, it's a beautiful day, beautiful Friday. You guys have a great day too. Take care and bye bye.